Carol Ann Sherman with another free art lesson for you. I'm going to show you how to do a quick sketch. Today I'm going to use an image of Molly Ann and Sarah, two of my favorite people. Even though she's a dog, she's still one of my favorite people. And what I'm going to do first is come in here and just put a few dots on here. I'm going to dot approximately the center of this piece of paper that I'm using. And a center line, a dot there, a dot there, a dot there, and a dot there, just to keep myself kind of straight. We're going to do a hatching drawing today, and we're going to start with this upper corner. Molly Ann's ear starts about three quarters of the way down here, and these trees are in the background. So we've got that started. I'm going to make her ear just a little bit bigger. Drop out some of the interference in the background. This is, by the way, a 5B. B pencils are, the B stands for black. H would stand for hard. When you're doing a drawing like this where you want to get it kind of heavy, B is the best way to go. This is the inside of her ear, which is very dark. Comes right down to that center point that we've marked. Bottom of her face is dark. I will leave one little highlight. Her brow is a little furrowed. She always has sort of a worried look. A little darker between her eyes. Again, leave a couple of little highlights. She has kind of an eyebrow, like dogs do. Come around it. Her nose comes right out of this quarter of the image that we're using. She has some color there and she gets darker as she goes to that side. The inside of her ear, of course, would be darker. And we're almost done with that corner. The only reason I do it this way is because it breaks it down into four easy parts. Let's continue with her nose as it shows in the bottom quarter. And her lips a little dark under there. Well, she doesn't have lips, but her mouth, the bottom of her jaw. She has this dark line down the middle. She gets darker on her cheeks here as she's getting older because she's about seven in people years now. She's getting white around her nose. And a year is a year as far as I'm concerned, so I don't try counting dog ears. This part is in her throat, or her neck, so it goes back. We then come into her collar. She can't ever be a show dog because she has this roll of chub that comes out over her collar. Get down here. This is where the collar comes. Her little foot comes right off the end of the paper. You can darken this, put the buckle in. There's her little dog knee. I want some color around the background even though I'm taking this fence out. Bottom of her ear is darker. So we're going to darken that up. We're going to come down to Sarah's arm and that will complete this quarter of the drawing. You can see her sleeve starts right here. Let's go back to the top. I usually start at the upper left hand side 
of my drawings because that way I don't run my arm through the graphite as much. So we're going to come over here. Let's see, Sarah's hair is very dark and it comes down here, joins into the darkness of the dog. Her head comes like this. Hair comes down. Her part is right here. It's almost out to the side. So we can go into little bigger lines. There's a few straggly hairs there. One separated hair that comes out this way. An eyebrow which reaches right out from under her hairline. An eye socket. Now we can open this up and measure it. Just above Molly Ann's eye, that's good. Her other eyebrow, if I lay my pencil down here, is going to come up slightly higher. Darken the eye socket. Form an eyelid. Other eye. Dark in the eye socket. This is the darker side of her face, so we can go fairly dark on this one. Hold the line down from this eyebrow. Her nose is going to start right about there. Where the nose turns under, it's always darker. She's got a little smile line. You can just see the very beginning of her mouth on here. And her top lip. Shading under the nose. down to the final corner here. She gets fairly dark under the chin. Bottom lip is not as dark as the top, so we can go back in, darken the top one, now that we have something to compare it to. This is pretty much dark where her hair and her shirt are meshing. We see very little light except for maybe right in the middle of the two there. And the rest of it is just going to join and merge together. Sleeve. Let's go back and add some final touches to it. Her head's a little flat on the top, so we're going to fill it in. Bottom of the nose, a little shadowed, a little shadow here, comes down to her chin. Over here, she has that same thing going on. We're going to bring the hairline down just a little and still leave those few hairs that she has sticking out. And that's a quick sketch. And that's Sarah and Molly Ann. And I thank you for joining me today. This is just a quick 5B sketch, and it's a good practice lesson for you. Pick out your values and use in your future paintings. Uh, visit me at carolannsherman.com and look for my future free art lessons. Thank you so much for joining me.